I have reason to believe that a conversation that I had <clears throat> was picked up with some foreign leader or some foreign person uh, and somebody requested uh, that my conversation be unmasked. I've been told that by people in the intelligence community. All right, now, if that's so, uh, that is a big deal. Uh, that is a United States senator who might have been fingered uh, by the administration, the Obama administration or authorities at the time to target a U.S. senator as a suspect potentially in a crime. Uh, and understanding the context of that is crucial here. Former Justice Department official Thomas Dupree. Thomas, very good to have you. Uh, first of all, what the senator was saying on, on America's Newsroom was that that was from intelligence people who talked to him very much the case, that he was unmasked. Why is that a big deal if true? Well, it's a big deal if true, Neil, because the identities of people whose conversations are inadvertently collected in the ordinary course of surveillance need to be kept secret. Now, there are exceptions in the law that allow you to unmask the identity of that person, and there can be legitimate reasons for doing so. But when the person whose identity is unmasked is a political actor, a United States senator, for example, it obviously raises red flags as to the motivation of the person who requested or approved the unmasking about did they really have a legitimate national security law enforcement need for that information or were they trying to do this for political purposes? Now, we don't know and we haven't seen this ascertained by anyone else in the intelligence community that it happened, so I want to just get that out there. That's a suspicion that the senator had uh, talking to an intelligence official, but normally, and you can educate me here, that person has to be either a suspect in a crime or doing something shady. Right. Th that's generally right. There is one additional uh, scenario where you can unmask, and that's if the identity of the person is necessary to put the whole communication in context. In other words, if you just can't make head or tail of the information you've picked up unless you know the identity of the person on the other end of the call. So it's possible that was the reason why they allegedly unmasked Senator Graham. But anytime you're doing this to U.S. senators, representatives, campaign officials, it obviously raises real concerns. Now, uh, the unmasking thing isn't getting nearly as much coverage as other stuff, and that's fine. I feel that both, the both warrant a good, good deal of attention, and that's all right. But, but this seems to be a widening of the unmasking we first thought. Uh, and, and it seems to be roping in other individuals beyond uh, what we thought was first the case. What are you to make of that, if true? Well, if true, it's extremely concerning. I mean, look, the fact is, is our intelligence agencies rightly have very wide authority, very sophisticated surveillance tools at their disposal. And what protects ordinary citizens from abuses is not just the law, but frankly, the judgment and the good faith of intelligence officials. We saw in other federal agencies under the prior administration that there was this politicization, conservative groups singled out for surveillance, for disparate treatment and that sort of thing. And you just hope to God that the same problem hasn't somehow infected on a broad scale the intelligence agencies during the past administration. All right, Thomas Dupree, thank you very, very much. Former DOJ official, uh, I hate to do this to you guys on a Friday, but you have a homework assignment. I'm sorry, I just have to do this. All right, this was a story today. I'm guarantee you there'll be more of this environmental stuff tomorrow. Uh, but if you get any coverage approaching any of that magnitude about a widening unmasking revelation here beyond just, uh, as I said, Senator Graham and how big a deal that is. Like, as I say, when you begin to unmask people, you're doing so because of the suspicion they're up to no good or worse, they're criminal, which would warrant a good deal of coverage. What do you think we'll get more coverage? Let's say in, in, in the media tomorrow. Figure it out. I won't throw this, I'll just drop it.